So sorry for having to cut that short. <sighs> right, shall we get back? This is when we went to the Coronation Street tour. I went to the Emmerdale one too, but I'm not sure where that went. Yeah, I'm not sure where that went, the Emmerdale one. But I'll have it somewhere because I went to the Emmerdale one too because I like Corrie, but Emmerdale's like my all-time favourite. Yeah. So, the, I kept this because this is where my dad used to live before he moved to Marple. But I kept it. Like, you might all think, oh, it's an envelope, but anything related to my dad is so important to me. So, yeah. Um, this is when, um, obviously I was at the Ariana Grande concert with my sister and my mum and the, you know, the bombing happened and we all, you know, everyone, the um, One Love Manchester concert happened and we all got invited to go along and but you know we were all just too you know we didn't want to because we were all too shocked and you know upset and we just couldn't process obviously like, you know it was just too like 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 how can you know it happen do you know what i mean like so but my brother went and my uncle and you know my brother's fiance and they got us this one love Manchester badge so I've got that with me um this is when we went to London to see Wicked in does it say 2010 the kids screaming outside in 2010 went to see Wicked um again as a family which meant a lot because I love doing things with my family and I love Wicked and um, I love, you know, even though I was on the back row and couldn't really see much, I just love being with family, I love Wicked and love anything musicals though. So I love like growing up it used to be Anna and Oliver and, you know, but anything musicals and my all time favourite Wicked is. And you know going to like when i was two i started a dance school um uh, going to a dance school where i did tap ballet you know and all that and just normal dance but then when i went when i was seven i started going to an actual performing arts school um in jordan and um where we'd put on shows like i'd do musical theater and then i started doing ballet and tap and a bit of, you know, street, and we put on shows at, like, the Palace Theatre, or the Tainside Hippodrome before it shut down, and Stockport Plaza, and I loved it, like, literally, it was, like, the best, but then I just felt like that's when my mental health started to go a bit wrong, and, you know, just everything got on top of me, and, like, especially my dad, and I just couldn't do it, and, yeah. This is when I, um... This is when I had to stay at Greenways, which was um, a mental health learning disability, like, you know. And, you know, it really helped a lot, like, my mental health. And it was just that break away from home, which I think I did need while I was trying to get myself together. Um, because the house can be a bit mad sometimes, but yeah, so you know, just having like you know that bit of, and then obviously doing some like therapy. Like so, it did definitely help. Like it definitely like make me. Um, Fifth Harmony, I love Fifth Harmony, like, well, when they were Fifth Harmony, um, they were 
amazing and one of the times i saw them was actually on my birthday and so that was a massive treat yeah i love them and then finally what i want to show is when i auditioned for guys and dolls and um, they came to manchester the um well it, there was a stage experience at um palace theatre and my mum saw about it in the newspaper and said that I should audition and I was like uh, well I've never auditioned for anything in like my life and I was a bit nervous and and I thought well what's the harm do you know in just trying and so I did and we, we had to learn a bit of the song and then sing it in front of them learn a bit of the dance and doing like a bit in front of them and then learn a few lines and I went up to them and there was about five you know casting like dancing teachers and singing music directors and I went up to them like with the acting bit and I said I can't do an American accent <laughs> and they went to me oh it's fine just do what you can and I was like okay then because they all started laughing and I was like okay then so I was just like trying to put on this like really mad accent that I don't even know what it was but yeah, so then they said we'd hear within two weeks and then I think this it. And then so two weeks passed and I received a letter in the post, which was this. And I was, what I was like, so I was jumping up and down because I was at my brother's flat at the time. And it says Palace Theatre to Manchester Stage Experience 2010. Congratulations in big letters. Emma Marshall, we are delighted to offer you a place in Stage Experience 2010. You have been cast as an ensemble performer. Your role will include taking part in a number of songs and dance routines on a stage as big as the Palace Theatre. There's plenty for you, the ensemble, to do. And then it says more information will be given. You have successfully auditioned for the Palace Theatre Manchester Experience 2010 production of Guys and Dolls. This year's audition standards were extremely high and you have been pitched for around 200 people. So massive congratulations. I was like 200 people. That is like massive. And then I've just got a few things like so then I've got like the tickets. Where's the tickets gone? Um, let's find the tickets. Yeah, so I've got, like, the tickets where my mum was, like, you know, when my family came. I've got, like, I took, you know, the music notes. This is, like, sit down, you're rocking the boat. I took some of the music notes. I love, I, that was my favourite number to perform, sit down, you're rocking the boat. That was, like, so it was really upbeat, like, sit down, you're rocking, sit down sit down you're rocking the book it was like really good and then got one of these because we had to put it in like people's windows and everything i think my mum put one in the back of the car window and it was like wow so embarrassing so we got given one of them like a guys and dolls like leaflet thing um this is when we was like in the newspaper like there was a little cutouts of us all in like the like in the newspaper like guys and dolls um and then there was one where and there's another paper oh and then this is another ugh, this is another music one this was the old established that was that song and then oh the camera and then I'll quickly just show you. This is the makeup that we had to have. Oh, no, this is the um, other one, sorry. With all the information. So, ticket sales, performances, after show party, rehearsal schedules, breaks, refreshments, payments, meet the team. See you, see you on Monday, the 2nd of August, 2010 at 9.30. They were like 9.30 to like 6 or like half 5 or depending on what you had to do that day. And then this was like makeup so we had to do like 50s makeup. So that was really fun. So we had to like, um, women could get away with a more dramatic look particularly for evening. Um... 
eyeliner was liquid, making a sharp, highly defined colour. It was used primarily on the upper lid. So things like that, it was more, you know. But yeah, so that was like a massive, massive achievement for me performing, you know, guys and dolls and yeah, oh, you can see my dream captures a bit more now. Yeah, I've got about three of them up there because I love, I literally, I want a dream capture, ta um, a dream capture um, tattoo on my hand. I see them and it's really, really lovely. But I think I might, when people say you get like the tattoo bug, I think um, ha having these two, like, I feel like I want more, but I'm just a bit like, nervous like i'm all right once i'm sat in the chair and like they start but it's like i'm like i want them but then and it's like i don't know what i want like i want like about five tattoos and then i was talking to someone i said if i was to get a tattoo i'd just have them all in like one day so i want to go back but um yeah so yeah so this has been me again um i thought yeah i just wanted to share like a bit of my you know life um some of my memories and um yeah and because i think you know it's nice to you know talk about memories and with people and i love talking about you know the past with people and memories and you know bringing it up again and I think it's just nice and yeah and yeah so this has been me again and um I don't know what I'll do in my next YouTube video like this was just I was sat there last night and thought oh should I just do one about talking about memories and it just came to mind then and I was like yeah sh like sh I should because it's nice so yeah so i don't even know what i'm gonna do in my youtube videos like i was gonna do one on dancing but i don't know when that will be i um, might do some more singing and talking because i was only really gonna do one about talking but then i thought when i did my talking like i've actually got more into it but i don't know whether i just bore people or whether they're actually interested or whether I just talk, people watch, turn off, and they're like, oh, I'm not here again. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so sorry if I do bore you. Um, and if you watch me and you're like, oh, that's pretty interesting, then I'm actually really, like, proud. But, um, yeah. So this has been me again, um, Emma. And, um, oh, I'm sorry for making the mistake at the beginning for putting Emma M from nearly, like, five videos. Like, because if you're trying to search me up and you're literally Emma M for all, like, five videos, it's not, it's not good, is it? But <laughs> I should just come up with just anything. So, yeah, so this has been me again, and thank you for watching. And, you know... Um, if you want to put, if anyone wants to put anything, like comments or anything, you're more than welcome. Um, because I'd love to hear what anyone has to say, um, whether it's good, bad. Um, I'm open to any constructive criticism because I'd love to improve, you know. I'm new to all this YouTube stuff, so anyone that could help, you know, um, any ideas on what I could do um and yeah so um or if it's good then thank you so yeah so this has been me and thank you for listening watching um and thank you for letting me take you through parts of my life um and memories and yeah hope you have a good day bye